welcome to Emeritus. The Emergency Metaversal Emergence Recording Interface Terminal Under Sampling System, today we have Item SCP-120 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, due to its importance to the Foundation, SCP-120 is to be kept under video surveillance and armed guard at all times. Any personnel attempting to utilize the item without authorization are to be terminated immediately. All personnel wishing to use the item are required to submit a filled copy of the application form, document hashtag 120-23, to facility operators. Due to the precise timing and coordination required for efficient use of this object in an emergency, all personnel entering SCP-120-S building are placed under temporary command of the facility heads Captain Redacted, Security Detachment, L4, and Dr. Redacted, Research Team, L4. All destination locations are to be kept under surveillance and armed guard. They are valuable to the Foundation but are non-critical but any compromised destination must be immediately reported to SCP-120 personnel. Distributed Task Force Sigma-6, Puddle Jumpers, was created with the objective of protecting and maintaining SCP-120-S facility and location outposts. It consists of one command unit and one defense and maintenance unit based at the SCP-120 facility at Command Redacted, Five units based at the destination locations, plus five reserve units for these, and five units assigned to other SCP-120 related projects. Description, SCP-120 appears to be a small child's paddling pool, pastel pink in coloration, with an inner diameter of approximately 2.5 meters and inner height of 0.3 meters. The pool appears to have been fabricated from common earth plastics but has shown itself to be indestructible by any attempted means. See Research Report Hashtag 12032 for a full summary. The pool's structure and response to pressure are typical for such a pool. It will flex when pressure is applied and is soft to the touch, but has amazing tensile strength and cannot be permanently stretched or ripped. What is contained within the pool seems to be a brightly glowing, colored, liquid-like substance, which seems to exist only partially in our dimension. It is unresponsive to manipulation by organic or inorganic means, but the substance ripples and shimmers systematically and regularly, suggesting it exists physically on another dimension. SCP-120's most interesting and useful property is used regularly by Foundation personnel. Human beings, when alive and carrying loads, including clothing, under 37.8 kilograms, are observed to fall through the pool, and are deposited at one of 11 destinations. These will be detailed in an addendum. The item will only function in this way if certain conditions are met, the subject must be genetically human, the subject must be conscious, the subject must be carrying weights of under the specified amount, and only one subject must be present on the surface. Test subjects attempting to use SCP-120 while these conditions were not met reported their feet making contact with a smooth surface underneath the liquid but no significant effects were observed. SCP-120-S main use is as a potential means of evacuation for command redacted during a major emergency. It is currently stored and maintained in a fortified outbuilding of this facility. To inspect evacuation procedures, refer to document hashtag 120-22. SCP-120 was first brought to the attention of Foundation authorities on 31-08-1992. Local police authorities in Redacted, California, were investigating reports of missing children in their jurisdiction, and discovered and reported the item on 31-08. Overwatch Command was automatically informed through the usual channels, and a small team of Foundation agents was dispatched to claim and transport the item to Site-19, where it remained for testing over the next two years. It was 
transferred to its present location at command redacted in 1994. Addendum. Document hashtag 120-7, destructive test results for SCP-120, 24-12-1993 abridged version. Handsaw, 30 cm, no result. Industrial drill, steel bit, no result. Industrial drill, diamond bit, no result. Munition, 9x19mm parabellum, no result. Munition, 5.56x45mm NATO, no result. Munition, 7.62x39mm, no result. Munition, 120mm M830 heat, no result. Cutting torch, acetylene, no result. Cutting torch, hydrogen, no result. Cutting torch, propane, no result. CO2 laser, peak power, 100 kilowatts, no result. CO2 laser, peak power, 500 kilowatts, no result. Document hashtag 120-10. Detailed explanation of SCP-120-S capabilities and destinations, December 2, 1994 abridged version. SCP-120 possesses the capability of instant translocation of human beings, possibly through one or more alternate dimensions. Subjects using the item are invariably deposited at one of 11 locations. These locations cycle in a specific and unchanging pattern. The 11 destinations and their locations were determined through testing with Class D personnel carrying radio beacons. They are detailed here. Location 1, Pacific Ocean, SCP-120-S liquid displays a blue glow while connected to this destination. Subjects attempting travel to this destination are deposited an average of 2 meters above the surface of the Pacific at latitude redacted degree S, Longitude redacted degree W. A foundation ship, SCPS Demeter, publicly the USS Nassau, a meteorological ship, is currently stationed at this location and personnel arriving through use of SCP-120 materialize inside the ship's cargo hold. Sensitive foundation material or personnel can be sent here in an emergency, and the ship has provisions for storage of low-threat SCP objects, should the need arise. Class D personnel used to dial SCP-120 can be confined and extracted by helicopter or reused, or simply terminated and their bodies retained in storage. The original Class D and radio transmitter used to determine this location were lost at sea, and might have to be recovered in the interest of secrecy, if they were to wash up on populated shores. This configuration of SCP-120 was arbitrarily designated as number one, and has no observable significance above other configurations. Destinations 2 through 11 follow in sequential order after this configuration, and return to it after a full cycle. Travel by SCP-120 to this location is not advisable during storms due to risk of injury. Location 2, Greenland, SCP-120 displays a bright white glow while dialed to this destination. Subjects traveling to this destination materialize 1.5 meters above the surface of Greenland, at latitude redacted degree N and longitude redacted degree W. A small facility was established here, under the public pretense of oil industry expansion. This facility has similar capabilities and use to the Demeter, and is additionally equipped with an airstrip and refueling facilities. Location 3, L3, located at the Earth Moon Lagrange Point 3. The SCP displays a deep black color. Objects and personnel sent through the SCP to any Lagrange Point, locations 3, 5, 8, 10, and 11, are effectively lost as retrieval is impossible at our current level of technology. They may prove a possible way to remove small but threatening SCP objects, but for now, are merely an inconvenience, as sacrifice
device of D personnel is required to move the SCP to its next configuration. Location 4, Himalayas, SCP-120 displays a white glow similar to when it is dialed to location 2. Materialization occurs at latitude redacted degree N, longitude redacted degree E, on a mountain in the Himalayan mountain range. Only minor changes have been made to the destination, the digging of an 8-meter hole for disposal of D-class bodies, an overhead canopy for concealment and supplies, and tenting for evacuation to this location, which should only take place in extreme circumstances. D-class personnel used for dialing are to be injected with a mixture of sedatives and neurotoxin before sending, to ensure a humane death and decrease risk of damage to the structures at location 4. Location 5, L5, identical to location 3. Location 6, Sahara, SCP-120 will glow yellow. Personnel materialize at latitude redacted degree N, longitude redacted degree E in a small outpost. The need for secrecy renders this facility unable to house any significant SCP object, but is ideal for evacuation of personnel and documents from command. Location 7, Gobe. SCP-120 displays a brown glow. This destination is located at a small outpost in the Goba Desert, latitude redacted degree N, longitude redacted degree E, but is otherwise identical to the location 6 outpost. However, the expansion of SCP-4024 poses a significant threat to the outpost's operational viability. Location 8, L2 identical to location 3, although shows more potential for SCP disposal, being situated beyond the moon. Location 9, Mare Imbrium, the SCP displays a subdued gray glow when dialed into this destination. This destination is on a relatively flat section of the sea of rains on the lunar surface. Through vast expenditure of money and D-class personnel, a small outpost has been established there, and is considered one of the Foundation's safest locations. Location 10, L4, identical to Location 3. Location 11, L1, identical to Location 3.